Hi and welcome to another video. Today I would like to have a look into the strategy pattern. This is because I've been asked about this pattern on one of the recent interviews I've been at. And strategy pattern is not something that we are frequently talking about in the mobile development even though we are using it all the time. So here Wikipedia says us that in computer science, strategy pattern is a behavioral software design pattern that enables selecting an algorithm at runtime. In other words, we want to have a class that can have a different behavior depending on some condition. Down here we have a UML class and sequence diagrams, how it works. And you can see it's fairly simple. We have some context within we are running some strategy, which is an interface, and then this interface is implemented or extended by a set of strategies, in this case strategy 1 and 2. And then as the application goes forward, our context calls first this algorithm 1 on a strategy 1, and another time with a different condition, it may call this strategy 2 with an algorithm 2. Down here you have a couple of examples in C Sharp and a couple other languages, like Python, like Java probably. There we go. But today let's have a look into our own example in Kotlin. First, let's define what our example will do. I would like to have a printer which will print a simple string or a prettified string depending on what strategy it will be using at current time. So let's say we have our printer. It's a class called printer and it will have one method called print. And it will take an argument, text, of a type string. Now what we usually would do, we would just print line over here and print the text. However, we would like to be able to print this text with a different strategy depending on some conditions. So let's say we will have some strategy Define like so. Let's say it will be enable for this example. Now let's define an interface. Printing strategy. And let's say this will also have one method. And this method will be called execute. And this method execute, it will also take some string as an input. Something like that. And now let's implement this strategy. So we have some simple printing strategy and we have to override this method here. Like this. And let's print the text here. We don't need the semicolons. And now let's implement another strategy. Of course, we also have to implement actually the interface here. Okay. So let's say then we have some pretty printing strategy, like so. Let's override the method here. And again, print a line, print a line. And this time, let's say we will have something like this. And let's say this is a pretty printing strategy. <laughs> Assuming I didn't make any mistake, let's quickly run it. Let's see. Yes, of course, we have to initialize here in Kotlin. Let's say it's null at the beginning. Now, instead of printing directly here, let's use our printing strategy. So we will have to pass the text over here and also it may be nullable. And it's strategy. So let's say we will have our printer first. So let's define printer like so. And then let's say we will have a for loop where e will be in 0 until or 0 to 10. There we go. And then let's say that if e is modulo 2 equals 0 then we want printer dot printing strategy be equal to simple printing strategy like so otherwise let's say that it will get the other printing strategy 
let's copy that remove the semicolons and finally we can print something so let's call the print method on printer and of course I forgot to pass any text so let's just give it i dot the string let's just print the i and there we go right now if i modulo 2 is 0 we get a simple printed message otherwise we get pretty printed message and in our case it's only the index over here from 0 to 10 and this is how the strategy pattern can be implemented in this very simple example I hope this video helped you a little bit to understand how the strategy pattern works and I'm sure that you noticed that we actually use it in mobile development all the time to change the way that things are evaluated in runtime so here we can use it by using this strategy pattern of course in real world you would implement it a little bit differently you would probably not instantiate it every time and pass to this field as well as maybe you would have some default value over here getter setter and stuff like that if you like this video then please like it subscribe and i see you in the next one but for now i coach you to death see you bye bye